Today I'm going to show you how to make your breath work for you with something I call coordinated breathing. So all this means is that I'm going to teach you a different way to do things that will make you less short of breath. So what you want to do is you want to do a difficult part of the task on an exhale. So I'm going to demonstrate so you understand. I have a basket here. Let's say this basket is very heavy, okay? I'm going to take a deep breath in through my nose so that I can get oxygen to all of my body. So deep breath in. And then as I exhale, I'm going to pick it up. Then you take another deep breath in, okay? So what this does is it, it makes sure that you have enough oxygen to do the task, first of all, and you're not going to hyperventilate because you're focusing on the exhale as you go. Um, and you've probably noticed whenever you see somebody lifting really heavy weights, like a bodybuilder, a lot of times they'll kind of yell out, you know, when they're trying to push it up or when they're trying to pick up something really heavy, they kind of yell. Well, what they're doing is actually exhaling. So. They do this, I don't even know if they know that it's helping them, um, but they just instinctually do it. But it does actually help to breathe out while you're doing the difficult part of the task. So I'm also going to demonstrate how to do this on stairs. So when your feet are flat on the ground, you're gonna take a nice deep breath in through your nose, and then you're gonna exhale through pursed lips, as you step up. When you're on the next step, you repeat. Inhale and exhale through pursed lips. Now, this might take you a little bit longer to get upstairs or a little bit longer for you to complete tasks that are hard for you to do, but what it will do is it will help you to conserve your energy, to make sure your body is getting enough oxygen, and that will make you less short breath. 